What's going on, guys? It's uh, it's Hacks here, and I've had a lot of people in the last couple um, weeks or months, uh, days, ask me how to switch uh, and a reload animation, one of my anim my animations on Gun or one of Hitman's animations, uh, either on Gun or on the Nexus, uh, to the weapon of their choice. So say um, use uh, one of Hitman's AK-47 animations with um, Millennia's AK seems to be a popular one. Um, right here, I'm using Mod Organizer as my uh, as my mod organization tool. Instead of Nexus Mod Manager, I just find it easier to use, more powerful. Um, right here, I am actually on. Uh, I'm going to start from bare bones to try and give you a step by step on how to do it. Um, this will these steps will apply for. Uh, almost any weapon that you intend to do this for, that you intend to switch the animations for, um, but this is specifically for the AK since this is what I got a request for. Uh, this is the page for the uh, from Linea's AK-47. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come down, uh, download it manually. I already have it downloaded. I uh, added it in Mod Organizer using the uh, little button there. Uh, and then it'll bring that up, and I'm gonna hit. Uh, I just need it money as AK just for simplicity's sake. Hit manual, make sure everything's right, make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna check it out. I'm going to install it. You can see at the bottom there. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep this as bare bones as possible to make sure that there's no there's no confusion. Um, right now. All right, right here, we are actually going to go down. We're going to uh, just enable a couple of things, make sure the mods are actually enabled and in my load order. And go down and uh, enable the Millennia's AK mod, and it'll show up in my load order as AK 47.esp. Doesn't require weapons of new Millennia or anything like that. Uh, it's a st it's a standalone mod, but it, this same process will still work if you use the AK that's included with uh, weapons of the new Millennia. It'll still work. You just have to you you just have to load that uh that ESM or any of the ESPs in that uh in that mod instead of the one I load in instead of the AK forty seven ESP that I load in this video. But uh, right now we're just checking everything out, making sure everything's okay, making sure everything's in order. Uh, I'm gonna enable a few of my own personal mods. Make sure my my uh, my per my reload animation is loaded up, um, and by checking it and enabling it right there, uh, it's it's the reload animation. It's uh, the latest AK-47 one that's probably on my gun channel. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up in the Get Creation Kit, and uh, right now we're gonna show you what most people typically do. When trying to uh, change the reload slot, we're actually going to come down, enable all that stuff. Uh, we're just going to check AK47.ESP, enable it as the active file, hit OK. Uh, it'll enable all of the master files, and this goes for any file in the GEC. It'll enable any master files it needs to by default. You uh, change set as the active. Let's give it a second. It'll load up like this. All right. We've got everything set up. We can go down to AK. Uh, Millennia will tend to have most of his weapons set up this way. Uh, very easy to find either under MMP or AK MMP or something like that. Usually pretty easy to find in the GEC. Uh, I'm to ignore that. Don't need to change any of this stuff. Uh, we're going to go to the Art and Sound tab. And this is what most people do. You see it's reload slot E right now. Mo uh, we're going to change it to reload slot M. It's the slot that uh, Heffy used in his an his original animations in AKs and AR-15s. It's the uh, reload slot that Hitman uses, and it's the Hitman. It's the reload slot the, uh, that I also use with, when making AK-47 uh, reload animations. So we're going to change it to M right now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, this is typically what most people do. 
when they think that they when they're the trying to change a reload animation for a weapon, they think that's all they have to do. And I wish it was that simple. I really do. But it's just not. You can't just change the reload slot like that, even though that is part of the process. So uh, I suppose it is good to get that out of the way early. And uh, I'll show you what typically happens, what people typically have problems with. I'll see you guys in game. Okay, here we are in game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my mod configuration menu and open up the item browser weapons scroll down to the AK-47 ESP that we put in earlier right here and add one of Millennia's AKs very useful mod by the way item item browser very very useful for mod testing but anyway we're going to select it and as you see if I try and hit the reload button nothing works nothing's moving no clips are moving no bolts are moving right now the clip should be moving out if you've seen the video it's also on my channel you'll know what the what the reel is actually supposed to look like uh... clips supposed to move bolts supposed to move back uh... so this is a problem a lot of people run into um, when you know they ask people you know ask for help you know why isn't this working da -da -da -da. Um, it really isn't it really just isn't that simple So we're gonna actually quit out and go back out what you actually have to do is change these right here we're gonna open up these uh... this AK NIF right here uh... this NIF actually represents the mesh that the uh... the game uses to render the game to render the weapons in game uh... you get to this uh... if i go back to my uh... mod organizer uh, i have the millennia's ak mod installed you just go down to open you just want to open the mod uh, in explorer however you downloaded it whether you downloaded it manually or regard, regardless whatever and just open it up uh... this is NIF scope right here uh, it's very easy to find. Just download the latest version; it won't matter. Uh, you want to click down on that little arrow right there. Um, this right here is why uh, none of the parts move. You, the nine nodes need to match up, and if the nine nodes don't match up, then the weapons don't move. The nine nodes are basically parents to what are called nine tri strips which essentially make up the actual parts that you see, the meshes, the actual objects that and polygons that make up the weapon. The nine nodes are the instruction, like an, a set of instructions that tells the nine tri strips how to move when an animation is called for by the game. So, because these right here, the hashtag hashtag magazine, hashtag hashtag, you know, bolt or clip, um, are what's here? They are the they are the uh, the nine node tags that are called for by the by the uh, reload slot E, not the reload slot M, which is why they don't animate when uh, you switch. You simply switch the reload slot. So, if you haven't guessed, uh, we will actually be transplanting the uh, working nine nodes from a weapon that already works um, over to this AK to essentially copy the instruction set along with pasting the actual meshes from the AK into uh, the new set of instructions so that basically it animates correctly and it animate it still it doesn't replace you know the mesh so that it doesn't it's not doing something weird or whatever. You'll get it more when you when I show it to you. And as and as I go through this video and show you, it, you'll get it. I know it sounds complicated. It's really not. Uh, just follow the instructions and make sure that you do it exactly as I do it, even though there are other ways. So to change the nodes over so that everything works correctly, uh, you're going to need to copy the nodes over from a weapon that already is a uh, key to work. There is another way, but uh, this this way is much simpler. So basically, you want to find this page right here, the FN Scar H MK uh, CQC pack. I'll leave a link to this in the description. 
uh, what you want to do is download this manually, um, open it, and with Renoir 7-zip, uh, go in the data folder, meshes, uh, exciter pack, weapons, and you want to open up one of these in a NIF file. It'll open up right here. And here you are. The um, reason you want to use these is because this one uses this one actually uses Heffy's animation uh, pack. So the uh, the nodes are the same. So what you what you're gonna essentially do uh, if you haven't figured it out is you're going to end up copying and pasting these nine nodes right here, here, and here, which are basically instructions under which the nitri the nitri sh um, the nitri, sh nitri shapes are, which are what the actual mesh is. So if I take this for set for for chance. Uh, if I highlight the, the nitri shape right here and I say move it, it moves the clip. The nitri shape is the actual mesh itself. The nine node is just the instruction set that tells it what to do. So uh, they're nested under each other. So what you're going to end up doing is uh, basically copying and pasting this one right here, which controls the mag the magazine, and this one right here that controls the uh, the bolt the charging handle. And you're going to basically end up uh, copying and pasting those over to the Millennia AK NIF, uh, NIF file mesh. So, in order to do that, what you want to do, and you need to follow these instructions directly, otherwise it will be messed up. Um, what you want to do is you want to go, you want to highlight this, right click on this 9 node right here, you want after clicking down and expanding this on this arrow, as you want to hit this, right click it, go to block, go to copy branch. Has to be copy branch. If it's not copy branch, you're going to mess it up. Has to be copy branch. And move over to this AK47.nif that is in the millennia folder that I showed you earlier. And you want to right click on BS fade node. Right click on BS fade node only. Go to block, paste branch. It's going to be incorrectly named, so go to transform, go to edit. Uh, change the name to hashtag hashtag uh, not necessary but it's good practice uh, the node name is AK 30 RD S T E E L okay then just hit accept and you'll see under here this nitri shape is actually misnamed you can change this if you want to it's not really gonna matter um, it's going to move anyway it's good practice to go ahead and change it but for the for the sake of the length of this video, I'll go ahead and leave it. What you'll notice, with the, if you look at the weapon, you'll notice what this did do is it trans, it trans, it also uh, transported the clip mesh from that scar onto this AK. We don't want that. So what you, what we want to do, essentially, is we want to take this, go to the nitri ships and the nine node under magazine right here, which controls the magazine from the from that was originally on the AK. And I right click this, go to block, copy branch, right click on nine node, go to paste branch, and it's going to spawn another magazine. And what you want to do, go to transform, edit, and you want to move this so that it's in line with the magazine that's already sitting there. Because this is where the magazine will start when the weapon spawns in your hand. You want to get, you don't it doesn't have to be exact, but you want to get it pretty close. Uh, that should be about good. And like I said, as you can see, it doesn't take very much effort. Just usually it's already pretty in line. You just have to adjust um, the left and right, up and down. And hit accept. Now what you want to do. is you want to go to the original magazine right here, 9 node, and you want to just delete this. So go to block, remove branch, and it's gone. You also want to delete the original mesh right here from the scar, because you don't want that either. So go back to 9 node under AK30RD seal, go to this 9, nine this 9 tri shape, whatever it renamed it to, 
and you want to remove that branch. You can also go here to transform and just rename it. Take that, take out the hashtags, just rename it to AK30RD steel. If you want, let's say consistency, it's not gonna matter. Um, do not, do not under any circumstances mess with the no, mess with the translation on the nine node. Do not, do not touch that. Only the nine tri strips will you change this because this actually moves the mesh. Okay, this is the one you want to mess with. This can nine tri strips moves the mesh. Nine node, don't touch. All right, and you want to do the same thing with the bolt, which is right here. So we're going to go back to the scar right here. And you see the charging handle? That is our bolt. So we're going to take this nine tri strip, this nine node right here. Uh, nine node right there. Um, what you can actually do to avoid having to delete all that stuff is you can actually delete the nine tri strips right here and just get it out of your way. And then come right here, copy branch on the nine node. Okay. And then go back to the AK, right click on BS fade node, go to paste branch. And I'm going to drop down. And you'll see this 9 node right here. This 9 node in particular, because on the other NIF file on the SCAR, the nested 9 node right here under this one was named uh, Bolt AKM, just for the sake of making sure everything's named correctly. I'm going to go back to the AK, and we're going to rename this to hashtag. Hashtag bolt underscore AKM. Okay. And don't touch that. And we're going to rename this right here to charging handle. Just like that. Now, the reason we wanted to keep this in iNote also is because. Uh, this will actually control the bolt moving back and forth when the weapon is fired. Uh, this bolt take him. So definitely want to keep that and name that co name correctly. Um, what you want to do now is go to bolt right here, and you see that this bolt controls the uh, the mesh right there. So if I come here and move it, you see bolt moves up. So you want to take this nitride strips, right click, block, copy branch, go back to the charging handle. Okay, uh, charging handle, and right click on the nine node, block, copy branch, right here. All you want to do is, we'll first rename this. Doesn't really matter what the mesh is what the mesh is named. And what you want to do is the same thing we did with the is the same thing we did with the with the magazine. We're just going to move this. If, once you find it, if you can see, it's right there. So what we want to do is we just want to line it up so that it is on, in line with the original bolts right there on the mesh. out a little bit. The Z is going to move it in the three-dimensional. Uh, y is going to move it up and down. X is going to move it left and right. Uh, about there should be good. And then we're going to move it up just a little smidge. And you can see it's a little bit off. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom also. You can see we're pretty close. 
can see the bolt the the bolt that we're trying to match up is right there the one that where we, uh, we need to put it right here so we are pretty close we're just going to move it over to the left a little bit just a smidge we're going to see if we can get this a little closer just a smidge closer uh, oh it's not right okay make sure that's negative and uh, you need that a little closer um, let's go with five negative and yeah, it's going zeroed it out One. Let's try that. That should be. Hmm. Let's go with one point zero negative. Yeah, there we go. That's much closer. Now we just want to move this a tiny bit down. So let's try just making this negative. Up oh, too far. So change this to one. Actually, zero seems about perfect. Yeah, that seems about perfect. They're about matched up. So, we can go ahead and close this. And go ahead and go back up the bolt. And delete this nitride strips right here. Because you don't need it. Remove branch. And there you go. Everything's all set up for this AK. The only problem with this method is that you will indeed... Now that all this is nested in the correct format and everything's where it's supposed to be, everything's matched up. This is about all we need. So, we're going to go ahead and close this up. You can go ahead and leave the nine nodes in there in case you wanted to paste them back, paste the parts back, and switch this, switch it back so that it would work with reload slot E again. You can do that. And you just take the nitride strips and do the exact same thing that we did here. Just copy and paste this branch back into bolt. Uh, and copy and paste the AK for the mag, the mag mesh back under magazine. Okay. Uh, we're going to save as. Overwrite the NIF. Exit. And we'll hop in game. Okay, here we are in game again. And you see I've got Millennia's AKL. Um, as you can see, I and more importantly, the reload works, mag moves, so does bolt. See again. Don't mind the sound missing, that's just my stupid fault for not including the sound records right in the animation in the animation file, that's my fault. Uh, the one that's uploaded uh, on my page on gun should work. Uh, should have sounds for both the uh, bolt back and the bolt forward. Careful. They got spies all over. But uh, this method that I just showed you of transplanting the nodes from an existing weapon will work for uh, almost any weapon, um, whether it be an M4 or a pistol uh, that you want to switch the animations to. Um, the easiest method is to find an, uh, an already existing weapon that uses those nodes already. But uh, if you can't find those, Another option would be to actually, uh, in the NIF file for the weapon that I told you not to touch, uh, the nine nodes, right here. If you really could not find anything, to, any other weapon to be able to transplant them, you could actually find the the actual KF for the reload. So in this case, it would be um, this right here. If I open this up and go to meshes, first person, the uh, reload, the keyframes, uh, the reload animations, the keyframes will look like this. So if I open this up and I go down and I go down here, uh, basically you want to click on right here on night controller sequence, go down to controlled blocks, and you want to find these right here. AK-47, AK-30RD steel, whatever. 
um, and you want to click the down arrow on those and then hit right here this blue arrow next to interpolator and it'll take you take you right down to where the actual motion for that part for that part of the mesh is that part of the keyframe and what you want to do is copy this X Y and Z value uh, into this NIF right here so if you open up this 9 node go to transform edit uh, you would actually input these these uh, X Y X, Y, and Z values into this little translation here on the nine node, not the nine tri strips, because this is what actually these are the instructions. So you transpose those instructions right there um, from the animation file, the keyframe, onto the actual nine node. Uh, that's another way to do it if you don't have anything to copy over, but that's a little messy, uh, takes quite a bit longer, and uh, it's not preferable to do it that way, but it is possible. One other thing I did uh, skip over mentioning is that if um, you wanted to use these animations and make sure that the uh, clip and the bolt animate for every weapon, for say, because each, especially Millennia, he, does, he, for each mod of his weapon, he has a different mesh. So he's got one for the base AK, Right, with no attachments he's got one for the one with the AK with the red dot on it you will have to copy over and do the process we just went through for each individual NIF file so you will have to go in here and copy over the the nine nodes and um, the nitri strips from you can actually do it straight from the AK that we edited earlier and just we can actually just copy those and uh, go to nine node block copy branch and uh, paste on the BS fade nodes see if I open up one of these modern ones and uh, paste and taste the branch here uh, just like we did before but you'd have to do it for every single one um, every single mesh file that you plan on using so say if you if you never use this silent AK, then don't bother at transplanting the the nine nodes over because if you're not going to use it why spend the time but um, if you wanted to be complete that's how you do it do it so that uh, each weapon would work and that if you if you didn't do this if uh, you tried to put on an attachment you'll find out that you will have the same problem you had in the beginning with nothing actually moving because the nodes aren't transferred over and uh, that's about as in-depth as a tutorial as I have time as we have time for. Uh, hopefully, you learned a little bit. Uh, hopefully, I didn't leave too many things out, confuse anybody. Uh, I tried to make it relatively simple and walk step by step through it. Um, do leave some feedback on uh, whether or not whether or not this helped. Uh, I'll see you guys later. One more thing I forgot to add uh, is how to actually get to the animation files that I was referencing, mine and Hitman's and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, basically, um, mine, uh, my animations are on uh, Gun Network, which is you can see the URL right there: www.gunnetwork.org. They're pretty easy to remember. Um, you will have to register. Uh, just create an account. Uh, it'll take you to the guidelines, etc., etc., etc. Agree the terms, and then uh, it'll ask you for a username, uh, email address, password. Uh, th that's pretty much it. You just come up with those. It's really that simple. Um, you guys have heard about you know gun ne gun network that you need like approval for the good mods and stuff like that. And while there is truth to that. Um, my mods in particular and Hitman's are both in the private are both in the public section so as long as you make an account as long as you make an account and you just get basic access to the form uh, and that takes like 30 seconds um, you can go to forum go down to public animation mods right here and anybody that has a that has an account can access these you don't have to be approved or anything like that um, here, Hitman's right here. He wanted to use these. He has everything included. His front page, 
uh, definitely check out his. I think honestly his are a lot better than mine. Um, and also, there's a couple other uh, public re public releases. Uh, mine's right here, Shiny Axe Animation Thread. And uh, here's my front page where I have all of my downloads and pages. I have all of them organized by uh, by weapon that also have videos. Most of them have videos showcasing them so you can see them before you download them. Download them, see which ones you like. Have all of them linked. Uh, this one right here I just put up not too long ago. Uh, about a month ago it's a pretty much complete uh, reanimation of the pistols. Um, a couple extraneous ones like this A12, just fun stuff, pistol equips, uh, different types of stuff. Um, basically, yeah, this is how this is how you get to all these animations. If you didn't want to go through this, if you really didn't want to go through this, and you didn't want to use my my, my animations either, uh, you can access just Hitman's, although not the most updated version. So you won't have all of the latest stuff, all the new stuff he's made. Uh, but there is a version on um, on the Nexus it is called animation resources right here if you search this on the Nexus it's on the Fallout New Vegas Nexus um, you can actually come here uh, hit go to files go down right about here uh, hitman first person uh, animation overhaul and all that stuff's there and along with a couple other uh, miscellaneous things so if you didn't want to sign up with a gun, if you really didn't want to, and I don't see why you wouldn't, I mean, it's not going to hurt you to at least have an account, or, you know, especially when you get all these, you know, mods that are in the public section, no one's, you know, there's no obligations or anything like that, uh, god, I still like a salesman, but, um, that is there if you want it, uh, I just want to show you guys where to actually get this stuff, it'll all be linked in the description, so, uh, in case you can't remember any of the links that I just showed you, It'll all be down there. You can just click on it, and it'll take you right there. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, let me know if it was helpful or not. Um, probably won't be doing too many of these tutorials. I actually only did this one because I got a request for it, or I guess several requests. And this making a video was faster than just typing it out six or seven times. So. Uh, Alright, and if anybody else has a question about how to do this, I'm sure there will be more. Just go ahead and direct them to this video. Hopefully they'll say it'll save you from having to explain how to do this after you figure it out. Um, thank you guys. See ya.